a uh, very important issue from the point of view of the trade union movement is that uh, we have uh, reached agreement on the elimination of the two-tier workforce. Uh, you'll be familiar with the debate about um, new entrant teachers and various other categories, and we've agreed to create single unified pay scales that will, um, in effect, give the new staff the same career path as the pre-existing staff. And finally, uh, you may be aware that the uh, pension levy, the so-called pension levy, um, was introduced a number of years ago and uh, we raised uh, with the management side and got their agreement that they will make an adjustment in the pension levy uh, which will be a first very very small step uh, in um, diluting the effect of it. Uh, the way it's going to operate is earnings between 15 and 20 thousand euro. Currently the levy applies at the level of five percent uh, and as a result of this agreement it will fall to two and a half percent. Uh, the uh, financial effect for members uh, is only €125 Euro a year, but it's uh, the start of uh, a process, obviously, that we would see uh, running into the future. Uh, the proposal from the Labour Relations Commission is that the agreement would run from the 1st of July uh, this year uh, for a period of three years until uh, the end of June 2016. The people below 65,000 a year, there will be no pay cuts. What will happen is uh, their incremental progression will slow down. If they earn below 35,000, they will have one 15 month increment. Uh, if they earn between 35 and 65,000, they will have two 15 month increments. People above that, between 65 and 100,000, uh, what will happen is they will have a pay cut it will be within their pay scale. They will come down to the pay scale by whatever is the appropriate amount. They will have a three-year incremental freeze. But at the end of that period, their pre-existing pay scale still exists. And clearly, the opportunity is for them to, to start climbing back up that ladder. People above 100,000, it's a pure and simple pay cut. In the area, uh, there's a very complex uh, set uh, that runs, depending on slices of income, uh, from, uh, I think, uh, around 5% up to a top slice of about 10%. Uh, averages would be different. Uh, so, for example, in the area between 65 and 100,000, uh, there's an average of between about 55 and 6.5% by way of a pay cut. New entrants who came into teaching in 2011 and 2012, and there'll be a corresponding adjustment at the top end of the scale so that they can have progression uh, towards the pathway of a merge scale with colleagues from 2010. Um, I think you'll appreciate, as Shay said, this has been a huge um, matter of concern to the teacher unions, obviously a much greater matter of concern to the, to the teachers who graduated in those years. So in the context of these very difficult negotiations, I think that is uh, certainly, it was, it was an objective that was set out by the teacher unions and I think we certainly have made um, very significant progress in respect of achieving that particular objective. We had the 2010 Sorry, entrance to teaching which was post FMP1. Then we had, the mm. we had a second um, pay rate in 2011, 10% but it was actually further, they went back to the first point of the scale and then we had post the review of allowances, a third pay scale. The 2011 and the 2012 people will have an adjustment upwards on the incremental scale. Uh, now, there is, there is um, the explanation for that is linked to the complete abolition and elimination of the substitution and supervision payment for all teachers. So in the negotiation around that particular allowance and its abolition, um, right across all of the 60,000 teachers who had been in receipt of it, we were very clear that we couldn't inflict a further hit on people who'd had a hit, so we were, from the outset, ring-fencing those cohorts, uh, and we have achieved a ring-fencing in, in, in an adjustment at the lower end of the incremental scale, which works the pathway towards progression.